Hello out there, myself Guru and today's session is all about how to do the insert, update, delete and select using store procedures. This is my email id if you have any doubts any queries regarding this session do mail me on gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com and this is my website that is www.questpoint.com here you can find a lot more videos on .NET, C Sharp, SharePoint, WCF, WPF, WWF, .NET Project, Silverlight and lots more on .NET and this is my personal blog I, I usually write on this blog that is gurumatrix.wordpress.com thank you so let's start the session now so this is our agenda for today's session that is why we need to use insert update delete and select and what is insert update delete and select and why store procedures means why we have selected the store procedures and what is store procedures basically and finally a simple example on how to do the insert update delete select using store procedures so my friends let's see why we need to use insert update delete and select so friends see this image in this image I have a web application that is web and I have a mobile application as a mobi and I have a wi windows application as a win and here I have a SQL server so SQL server basically used to store the data which is coming from uh, web mobi and windows so at this moment we will take up a web application as a as our scenario so whatever data is coming from website is is get stored in the SQL server as a database okay so uh, what I mean by data data can be anything let's suppose if the user is registering that data is get stored in the SQL server if the user is adding any kind of product it gets stored in the SQL server if the user is adding some article if, if the user is adding some content if user wants to login if if the user wants to check his detail whatever the things happening in the website is usually done from the SQL server because SQL server uh, stores the huge amount of data and that data is, is it can be get access by by a web by a mobi by a windows application so now coming to the insert part uh, let me take up the web app uh, web application here as a web here okay and let me draw a SQL server here now for example user is registering in the website okay and that that data you want to add it to the database so to add a data uh, data to the database you need as a programmer you need to fire the insert query so we will say insert here so now the uh, now for example if the same user wants to see the details of the product okay as a programmer you need to fire a, a select query to display the product details on the website that is select now for example if the same user edited that product details okay the same product details and he again wants to save the changes I mean update the changes then here as a programmer you need to fire a update query now for example okay you have added the record you have seen the record through the select query and you have done the changes through the up update query now for example now for suppose you don't want that data you want to remove that data from the database so as a programmer when the user say delete you need to fire a delete query that is delete see when we have when we have a SQL server as a backend and the web application as a frontend see frontend can be a web application windows application mobile application a backend can be a SQL server uh, MySQL server or Oracle server so at this moment we are talking about web application and the SQL server so when we want to interact 
our web web application as a front end with the SQL server database as a back as our back end when we want to interact this both then it becomes compulsory to use SQL language I mean SQL queries like insert update delete and select so without this SQL queries we cannot interact our web application or mobile application or Windows form application with the database so now coming to what is insert update delete and select let's understand uh, what is exactly the uh, this terminology means see let's take up insert update delete in SQL language we call this three terminologies as data manipulation language because it actually modifies the data which is there in the SQL database because we, ca we can insert the data we can add the new record we can update the existing record and we, uh, we can delete the uh, existing record in the database and we have a uh, another terminology terminology that is select in SQL language it is called as data query language it is nothing but to fetch the records from the database now let's see now we understand this part that is uh, why we need to use insert update delete select and what is insert update delete and select and now let's understand why store procedures because why I have chosen this store procedure 